Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Fong. So today I'll be showing you how you can do uh, correlation analysis uh, within Python. So we'll be using uh, the package pandas as a starting tool. So uh, the task today is to divide the mobility data uh, into five equal size parts. So we got a data like this. Uh, this data is showing you the different number of COVID COVID-19 cases as a training data. So we have different countries as, as the roles, and we have a lot of uh, attributes, such as the country code, uh, GDP, whether the school is closing, and all this kind of attributes. And our task today is to find out whether, um, whether which, which of the top five attributes, so which five columns, are actually the most correlated with the new cases percentage. So basically, we're trying to find out uh, which attributes contribute the most to the new surges of uh, COVID-19 cases. And the question also asks us to uh, take both positive and negative correlated attributes into account. So basically, we will do uh, some kind of absolute value um, to make sure that we didn't miss out the negative correlations. Okay, so um, the main function we'll be using today is the correlation function uh, within Py pandas. So it's basically documentation is like, uh, basically you put in a data frame uh, and then you do uh, df.call and we get the correlation coefficient for different attributes. So without further ado, let's get started. So our main focus is to first load in the training CSV data from from here, COVID, COVID train. So let's do that. Um, DF dot uh, pandas read CSV. Um, COVID train. CSV. So make sure we get that. Let's see. Yeah. So the whole data frame is loaded and stored into the variable DF. Okay, as you can see, we got different values for this. And the second part is to um, actually divide the whole data into five different five different percentile. So as you can see here, uh, define the mobility data. So it's just a fancy word for, for the data for data set into five equal size parts based on the percentile of pop density. So the population density is here and we have to divide the whole frame into five equal parts. So we are going to do that and we, we're going to do do the splitting first, and then we display the core quantile rank uh, as a new column. So we do that by um, data frame. Uh, we create a new quantile rank. Um, PD dot. We're actually gonna use a function that's called Q cut data frame we get the population density. Um, sorry, it's a typo. Density. And then how many columns do we need? How many equal size parts? We need five, right? So five. And be aware of that. Um, the quantile will be divided from zero, for starting from zero. So basically zero, one, two, three, four. And that will be five different parts. And then we don't need the labels. False. So let's see. Okay. So the last column we can see that uh, the the different quant quantile rank is uh, listed at the end. Yeah. And then we have to decide which columns that we should skip. So the question is, um, for example, here, um, country code, 
uh, population, population total density, all these values are actually not not what we wanted, right? We wanted values that are attributes, but not but not the um, but not the information of the country. So the country code is not not necessarily correlated to the new cases. The population total is actually not um, also cr correlated. So we basically filter out this kind of uh, columns and we just focus on doing correlations on these columns like from the, from the start to the end. So let's do that and for the sake of time I have uh, already created these the, the list here. Um, yeah so we can name it as exception headers. Make it a list. And um, the idea is that if we test that column is inside this is as ex ex exists within this exception header, then we will be skipping that. Okay. Okay, as you may recall, the question that TAS asks is to get the five top uh, attributes with the most with the highest correlation uh, coefficient for each part. So we'll be getting five parts. So let's um, get five different data frames. So basically, we do a simple for loop for i in range of from 0 to 5 remember that um, 5 will not be in range so it will be just 0 1 2 3 4 and increment by 1 which is um, not necessarily needed but we basically get the data frame uh, data frame for each quanta quanta yeah so we create a uh, new variable quanta group uh, which is data frame and we get the column quanta rank that we just created and make it equal to i so if the quanta rank equals to zero then we get a new quanta group and then group by the attribute which is quantile rank. So basically we get five five different uh, group by objects from from this code. And we can do a new data frame. We can create a new data frame uh, which is the quantile group and we get the group by I. So whenever um, whenever the quantile group has um, the group has the values equals to i, then it will create a new data frame. So let's see if this works. Um, print so quantile and then you do i and print data frame for each. Uh, part. So let's see if this works. Okay, as you can see, we started from quantile zero. Okay, so we get the data frame, and we can see that quantile rank is all zero, and then one, and then all the quantile rank are one as well. So, um, so on and so forth. So the main uh, big for loop is done. So moving on. Okay, now we are gonna uh, calculate the different correlation values against the variable new cases percentage, which is given from the task. And we do that by um, using the function um, data frame dot call. Remember, as you may recall, so. The data frame now is new data frame, and we get the the 
column, new cases percentages. And then let's see if let's see whether the GDP is related. So let's do GDP and then we print out print this out. Okay, so as you can see different quantiles have um, different correlation values for quantile zero it's negative negatively re re correlated and yeah we don't actually see a general trend here so instead of just um, getting the correlation values for GDP against uh, new cases percentages we can do it um, we can compare all the different columns and make it uh, test against uh, the new cases percentages so we do that by creating a for loop um, for column inside new data frame if the column is inside exception headers then we do nothing and else we can um, we can put the value inside a correlation dictionary which we'll be creating later so we get basically we get the correlation value first we won't be needing that Okay, so instead of GDP, we get the column name. And as you can see here, there's some uh, negative values. So we do that, eliminate that by absolute function. And we can create a correlation, correlation dictionary here. Make it empty as first, and for each for the for the columns that are uh, outside of exception headers, we can compute the correlation values and then put it inside and in, inside the correlation dictionary column. So essentially, here we, what we are doing is just uh, getting the values correlation values and then we put it inside the correlation dictionary uh, with the key name of the column name okay so um, the question asks us to get the top five attributes that are most correlated most mostly correlated with the new cases percentage so we will be um, reversing the order of um, the correlation values so we do that by correlation dot k dot v for k and v stands for key and value um, in sorted correlation dot items okay so and then the key equals lambda lambda item item one and then set the reverse equal to true So for each quantile, we want to see the result, right? So we print um, for quantile, let's say for quantile string i. So from 
zero to four. Quanta i, and then we do. Let me type it. Type the code first, and I will explain it later. Print the attribute. Okay, so correlation value inside and then dot format. Correlation dot x. And then we separate the whole thing by dashes. So let's see if it works. Okay, so here we get an error saying that dick object is not callable. Print correlation. Oh, we should do this instead. Yeah. Okay, so um, let me explain it here. Uh, basically, um, we get the correlation values and then put it inside the correlation dictionary with the key name as the column. And then here we do a reverse, reverse the order of, of um, the correlation efficient. So the higher comes first, higher correlation uh, efficient comes first. And we print the quantile, so for quantile 0, 1, to and then their values and here for x inside the list of uh, correlation dictionary we just get the first five items as we can as we can see here we already sorted the list based on the descending order of correlation coefficient right so we get the first um, five items and then we just finish the task right okay so we get um, the attribute list which is X which is the key the key of the correlation dictionary and the correlation correlation uh, value which is the value of the correlation dictionary okay so as you can see, it works perfectly fine for the video. So if you have any request or any videos that you like to see me do, then please drop a comment in the comment section. And have a great day, everyone.